Hi, welcome to an episode of That's Just a Fear Talk with me, Simon Morell. This is the first of uh, our, our new series that we're launching to help people uh, control fear, uh, overcome fear, uh, deal with fear, deal with anxieties, hopefully get past the fear to achieve your goals. Um, I'm here to help. Uh, if, you, if I can help anyone, uh, email me at info at I'm not trying to give you the hard sell, but at the end of this, this video, uh, there are links to some of the services that we, that we offer you that may be able to, to kind of get you through the, uh, any issues that you've got going on at the moment. Um, firstly, a little bit about me. If you don't uh, don't know about me, a little bit about myself. Um, like I say, my name is Simon Morell. Um, for the first 20, 25 years of my life, I struggled massively with fear. Fear was my domain. It controlled me, it controlled everything I did. Because I grew up in a small town with a narcissistic, controlling, bullying father who was a big shot. He put a lot of pressure on me to be this, that, and the other. And really, kind of, you know, I wasn't this, that, and the other. I was just me. Uh, I suffered uh, very, very badly at the hands of bullies. Uh, by the time I was 15, 16, they become violent, assu violent assaults. And uh, by the time I was 21, 22, I was agoraphobic, suffering man massive panic attacks. Uh, I was brave, I'll be honest with you, if I'm going to tell the good stuff, I'm going to tell the bad stuff. I was brave, I, I sought, sought solace in, in many things, including therapy, uh, books, uh, training, etc. Uh, but I became agoraphobic. Uh, very, very lucky that I met a young girl, Julie. Uh, we've been together now for many, many years, uh, married with three children and ten dogs between us. Uh, she nurtured me, um, and she was a girl responsible for getting me dressed in the morning and get me to work so I couldn't get out of bed. Uh, she was a girl that looked after me and, 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 and gave me hope. Uh, and she gave me hope in the, in, in, um, in the way it pushed me back into martial arts, which I loved. Um, and so, yeah, that, that's my background there. My success, so the other side of that is once I got over my fear, once I learned to control my fear, I became a full contact martial artist, uh, became an award-winning author, a script writer, a short filmmaker, a public speaker, etc., etc. And I don't tell you that to be big-headed because I wanted to see both sides of the coins. I was a complete, didn't know what to do with my life. I was going nowhere. And then I became a, what people see as a success story. So you can too. So what I want to touch on today, if we go back to the, the roots of fear, people say, oh, you know, accept fear for what it is. Don't let it overcome you. Um, accept it and get on with your daily life. And that's all right. That's that's easier said than done. Um, so that's that's okay. You know, it, it, for me, it wasn't the answer. I had to attach my fear to something. Um, I had to give it some sort of um, substance, yeah? And for me, being violently assaulted, um, as a young child, as bullied as a young child, violently assaulted later on, hit with a pool cue by my own father, um, this, that and the other, yeah. I had a kind of maybe an out of proportion fear of violence. Uh, everyone's afraid of violence and they should be, okay. But my way of getting over it was, was through martial arts. So I attached to getting, getting my black belt, which normally takes people four or five years on average. Um, to me, it took me like, I think it was like 18 years to get my black belt. But I, I attached my fear to the black belt test, okay. And I thought, if I can get a black belt, okay, I'm not going to get rid of fear, because we don't get rid of fear, we just learn to control it. But if I can control my fear long enough to go through the stages of, you know, yellow belt, orange belt, green belt, etc., etc., competing, fighting in front of people, training with people I didn't know, if I could get through all that, and at the end of it there'd be this reward of a black belt, I've got something to measure my fear by, okay? So I've gone from a white belt to, you can't look people in the eye, to all of a sudden, to all of a sudden, uh, years later, uh, the, my fear, my attachment, is taking my black belt. And I took my black belt to one of the most credible martial artists this country, Great Britain, has ever produced, and that's a guy called Alfie Lewis. And I passed with flying colours. Okay, and um, so, so instead of just saying, I accept my fear for what it is, and I'll just get on with it, and I'll walk with my head down, looking on the floor, looking for the pennies, uh, you know, scraping by day to day, living in depression, living in anxiety, I set that goal. Okay, and when I got that goal, it gave me... It give me a, it just give me a hope. It give me belief. Okay, when it gave me belief, and then I realised. Then I went through the dans, became second dan, third dan, fourth dan, trained as a bodyguard. Like I say, fought full contact, etc., etc. Got all the way up to seventh dan, became became an award winning, um, known in my field, if you like, uh, well, very well known in my field. And um, but I wanted my big thing is writing, so I attached my next fear to a book. So I, I started off writing small articles. Um, and then the, uh, the, 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 the first big article I published, uh, sorry, I, I published, I wrote, was an article called Fear, aptly enough. Okay, and it was six pages long, and it got published in a national magazine. So my black belt in the writing world then, if you like, was to, get a, to, was to write a book. And it took me many years and many attempts to write books, and it took me writing articles in magazines, articles for websites, uh, articles in local newspapers, um, anything, you know, any... Um, any idea I had, any subject matter I had, 
I attached to my, my bigger goal, okay, my bigger fear then, was to get a book out, and I did it. I wrote from Bully to Black Belt. So now this kid who's gone from nothing, who's getting beaten up, is now a Black Belt. This kid whose dad says, you know, you, you, you think as pig shit, excuse my French, but that's what he said, you think as pig shit, you never amount to anything, has all of a sudden written, all of a sudden, over many, many years, over a, a period of time, has written an award-winning book that was sold all over the world. Okay, so I've attached, instead of just accepting my fear for what it is, the adrenaline, which we'll talk about in, in other episodes of that, just a fear talking, the cortisol, the endorphins, all the chemicals that go with it. Before we deal with all that, we've got to deal with the practical side of it. And for me, the practical side of it was the goals, okay? So getting a black belt was a big fear of mine. I faced it, I did it. Writing a book, big fear of mine. I faced it, I did it in little tiny stages. And you can too. So set your goal, okay? Uh, set your goal here. And if you're down here, just use little steps to get to it, okay? It might t Sometimes you might do it in one big step. Sometimes you might do it in little tiny steps. It doesn't matter as long as the steps are going in the right direction. Be aware, now and again, you'll slip down the steps again. Okay, you'll, you'll have that banana skin and you'll fall down. And that's okay, all right? That's a learning curve again. That's another fear that we've got to overface. Don't stay down on the floor. Okay, you've fallen down two steps. Don't worry about that. This same where people go uh, fall down seven times, get, uh, get up eight. That's not true. If you fall down seven times, you can only get up seven, I believe. So anyway, if you fall down twice, get up twice. Okay, but make sure you get up and keep that bigger fear. Keep that in mind. Keep that at the, at the top of your tree, the top of your pyramid, if you like, okay? All right, and then when you get there, you'll have, you'll have exposed yourself to fear. You'll have realised you can live with fear. You've lived with fear whilst accomplishing something great. You haven't lived with fear while your head's in the gutter looking down and waiting for the net bang on the head, okay, which people will give you, metaphorically speaking and physically speaking. Okay, so you've, you've, you've done all that. You've faced your fear. And then move on to your next fear. And you'll see yourself growing. You'll see yourself like you're not the kid living in the wardrobe anymore. You're the kid on the stage, okay? Or you're not the kid kind of doodling on a piece of paper. You're the kid at an art gallery, all right? Or you're not the guy with the, the guy or girl with the knitting, knitting sticks tapping on the table. You're a drummer on the stage, okay, in a band, all right? So set these goals, set these fears. So you can go from this guy, um, guy or girl, who has no hope, to all of a sudden as a person who has given hope to people. My next big fear after my, um, uh, after my black belts, I've become an accomplished fighter, an accomplished writer, uh, was to get my film made, uh, to get the, our story made into a feature film. And we started off again with a short film and a short script. And we've had many, many attempts at it, I'm not going to lie to you, but we haven't stopped, okay? We have, we've fallen down two or three steps, but we've got up two or three steps and we carried on walking. When I say we, my wife and I, Julie, because she's been much as much a part of this journey as I have, okay? So we've our next big fear is a feature film. And I think we're getting there, okay? We're talking to the right people. We are talking to people who know what they're doing. We've had some setbacks, but we won't let that stand in our way. Now, I don't know, 30, 35 years ago, I couldn't go to the corner shop. Okay, I couldn't go and buy a magazine. I couldn't go and buy a six-pack of beer. I couldn't go and buy a, a loaf of bread, all right? My anxiety was that bad, all right? And then I went from that to Black Belt to writer, and now we're talking about a film. I don't know what's going to happen with the film. We're going to develop my own spaceship and go and find another planet. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so, so attach your fear to something. Whatever is causing these feelings internally, push them out there. Push them out there. Attach your fear to it, okay? Aim for that fear. Aim for that goal. Think big, okay? And still yeah, keep, keep tuned to... Uh, that's just a fear talking. And let's see if we can get you get out, your, uh, get you out there, out your comfort zone and doing your stuff, all right? Stay in touch with me.